Although the United States currently does not use the precautionary principle in its dealing with environmental regulation, it is a sort of revolutionary approach to dealing with environmental problems and preventing environmental problems as opposed to reacting to them. That seems to be the current U.S. approach, that we let the free market operate in a capitalist, ascent, capitalist state, then we do accumulate these massive environmental problems that can lead to Superfund sites and brownfield sites, and then we, the EPA spends a large percentage of its budget, operating budget, attempting to clean up these projects that tend to lead to millions of dollar projects. So this, this idea of the precautionary principle is trying to combat that idea instead of cleaning up these extensive projects, spending the money beforehand to stop these projects from happening. That's, it's a preventative opposed to reactive approach. In that sense, it's also potentially more cost effective. Because if we think about it, if we spend a dollar to stop a big mess from happening, that mess could have taken ten dollars to clean up. You just saved nine bucks right there. Potentially more cost effective, preventative opposed to reactive. We also it's based on sustainability. It's environmentally focused. It's focusing on what's best for our environment, what's best for the future, what's best for the future of our civilization, what's best for humanity, what's best for America. This precautionary principle is based about is based on sustainability, based on the environment, not necessarily based on economic, like most of our decision making is here in America. The potential cons of the precautionary principle, it's technically unconstitutional under the Fourth Amendment's due, con due process clause, because since corporations are viewed as people in our political system, this precautionary principle treats corporations as guilty until proven innocent, opposed to innocent until proven guilty, which technically is unconstitutional, because corporations are viewed as people. I feel like there definitely, there has to be a way around this. There obviously will be some bureaucratic red tape, some corporate lobbyists lobbying to try to prevent this if it did become legislation. But essentially what we would need to do is we would legally need to define corporation as not a person, as an entity. So that would be a way to potentially make the precautionary principle constitutional and that it could be affected. It's also, it doesn't stimulate economic growth, which is problematic in the American thought process is because we always think that success is measured in dollars and cents and that's not necessarily the case. But if a business, a new business, wants to put a product out into the free market, but their products would harm the environment in some sense, our typical model would say, yes, put that product out there, and then we'll clean up the mess. Whereas the precautionary principle says, no, you're not allowed to put that product out there. So in that sense, the free market is not expanding. The economy may not be growing. So that is a negative, especially in our typical mindset. Whether that's correct or not is a different discussion. And also, it gives more power to government. The government would have a lot of power here in the free in the free market, in the free enterprise, deciding what can be a product and what cannot be a product. It gives a lot of power to the government. And not necessarily stating my personal views here, but most people are not comfortable with more government power, because that leads to more government responsibility. Maybe during 1910, the Progressive Era, when faith in government was one of the four faiths of the, of the Progressive Movement, this would have been a great approach, but nowadays it seems like society is viewing government as the problem and not as the solution. Not sure how comfortable America would be with giving more of our environmental power to our government. But this, at this stage of the game, with all these environmental problems and all these millions of dollars being spent on Superfund sites, this might be the way to go. Quick recap, precautionary principle, it's a reactive, not a reactive approach, it's a preventative approach, potentially more cost effective based in sustainability and what's best for the country. It's potentially viewed as unconstitutional, does not necessarily stimulate economic growth, does give more power to the government, which can be abused. All in all, it seems like potentially a good solution for the future of our country, future of human civilization, and the future of mankind as we know it. The precautionary principle.